back to my channel. My name is Chanel and welcome to day four of my classroom setup. Okay, so if you watched my classroom setup day three, you would know that I was in an absolute nightmare because I could not think of anything that I wanted to do. Like no joke, nothing was making sense to me. I came in here and I think I was in here for like maybe an hour max just because I didn't have ideas. I didn't know what I wanted to do and I actually left really, really early. So that whole vlog was just like an absolute mess. So if you decided to come back for day four we are in a much better headspace right now i have some snacks i am well dressed and i'm feeling really really happy and really really positive so let me go ahead and take you around my classroom very quickly just to kind of show you what's what what is where and what my plan and vision is for today okay so right here is actually my affirmation station it's a little bit different from ones you may be used to seeing just because i don't have a mirror in my room so this is what i came up with it's just like saying different ways in spanish for how to say i'm incredible i'm happy i'm strong i'm capable and things like that here are just my country posters and i really really like them i used them last year so i was happy that i was able to reuse them again and then here we just have a bulletin board it's my word wall really simple really cute i love how it turned out on this side of the room this is where we have our pronouns and students really do find this useful throughout the year then if you come right over here we have our grammar all of those little posters right there are how to say different grammar rules and i think my students will find that to be useful that's a new thing that i have this year then right up there at the top of the room those are just my question words in spanish and then those little conversation bubbles are different ways to continue a conversation or to start a conversation. Then on this side of the room, this is just our vocab wall. I have two actually because students do find it really, really useful. And it's just a sweet 17. So these are the words that students most often use in their Spanish sentences and they love having them up there. Okay, and then right here, I'm going to be using this as an addition to this bulletin board right there because originally I did not know what I wanted to do with the space, but I'm really, really happy that I came up with this idea. So I'm going to be using this as a way to say like the different days of the week, the months, the weather, the climate, different things like that, that my students would find really useful because they are really, really good with the days of the week and the months and things like that. But sometimes they forget or they need a little quick reminder and this wall right here would be important. And it really does match the theme right there with my important word wall. And I think my students will find it useful and I'm happy I did not put it at the front of the room. I think the front of the room right now, it has a lot of things right there. So I think if I were to add more stuff, it would be just a little bit distracting. And I do like having white on my wall. So I'm really, really, really trying to think like okay where do I want to put the stuff up on my wall how do I want to put things together of course as every other teacher is doing right now but I think having it right here would be a great idea so I'm going to show you some of the things I already printed I used canva for I think every single one of these things and I'm just going to cut them out put them on the wall and I really hope it turns out cute like I don't have them being all the same size I thought if I mix it up between different shapes and sizes that it may look cute but I may put it up there and it may look like absolute garbage I'm really hoping it does not look like garbage because I don't want to spend so much time trying to do that so I'll show you this and then I'll go ahead and start putting stuff up okay so right here I have the months of the year in Spanish and right here is just a whole bunch of papers of ways to say the days of the week I have like a whole bunch of ways here for how to say the seasons, like different types of weather and like random other objects right there that I think they could use and be useful for. And right here, it's just a cute sign that says Hola Clase and I think it's so cute.
I just got done cutting and taping and I honestly do not really know where I'm gonna put all this stuff up on this back wall right here. Um, I hope it looks nice, but I really don't have a vision, so I'm just going to be putting stuff up wherever I think it looks best. And hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a complete and utter disaster. So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah. Now it's all just you got me on blast, damn. You're over it, I've been done. We're so toxic, can't get enough. Ooh, oh, go and say it like a mantra. You know what you want, do ya? Oh, hell no, I won't play the monster no matter what you tell yourself. I should have known that we could, we could never be friends. Gonna be honest, I don't love it, but I don't really hate it either. I really like what I'm doing with the days of the week right there. Like, I think maybe if anything goes wrong, I could always just print out some more of those templates and like make them into different words. But honestly, I want it to be a little bit of a collage of different shapes and colors and things like that because I think that would add a different feel of my classroom that I don't already have because everything right now is very symmetrical. So adding something like that here could look nice, but I don't think my vision is coming out to be as strong as I wanted it to be, but I still have a few other things to put up. I'm gonna go try to put them up and hopefully this turns out to be okay. Life is harder than I like to think, but it's easy when you're by my side. No point in calling, you just have to see the fundamentals of our love tonight. Cause I've been looking at a photograph of you and I've been thinking about all the ways you move. This isolation got me feeling like I'm
kind of made good progress and once I started putting up the little squares up onto the bulletin board, it started to make a little bit more sense to me about what I actually wanted. So this is what it looks like right now and I love the little squares, but I don't really think that I like this part and this part so much. Like I feel like it would look a lot better if I added more of the little squares and like kind of put them up like there. I think that would look a lot more nice and put together, but I'm going to continue filling out the bottom half with the squares and it's not like I created new squares. I'm just reusing the same words over and over, so that's fine. But I'm hoping that once I put all of the squares in at the bottom, I'll think about what I actually wanna do at the top because this is just tape, it's easy to take off and remove. So I'm hoping that it starts to come together just a little bit more and hopefully I'll figure out what I wanna do with this. So I'm just taking a break now because I really don't like how this thing is coming out. Like it doesn't look bad. This is what it looks like, but I'm just really not that pleased with it. And I don't really think I want to start all over. It's just like, I think maybe as the days go on, maybe I'll like it just a little bit more. Like I think I know what I could do. Like in the middle, I could maybe put in something else. I don't know. I thought it was going to look a lot nicer compared with that bulletin board back there, but it turns out it really doesn't look that nice at all. But maybe I'm just in my head. Maybe it looks a lot nicer compared to other people, but just to me, it doesn't really look that good. But I don't really think I want to start all over. Like it's almost all the way done. You know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to try to mess around with it just a little bit more. Maybe just look online, see if I could find something else because <laughs> I need some inspiration right now because I just... I'm not feeling this right now. Okay, so I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to literally take all of those down. I'm gonna cut the sides of those just a little bit so that way they can fit evenly along here. And ideally, I'll print out more of these so that way they can fill up this space. And hopefully it'll look a little bit more nice, but I'm not sure how it's gonna look out, honestly. Now that you're gone, I spend my nights all alone here. Wishing you were here, sweet and my sweet.
finally finished and I'm actually really proud of the outcome. It took a little bit to get here, but we finally did it and honestly, it's good. I do wish that the pastel colors were a bit more pastel-y because they are just like maybe two or three shades darker than what I would have preferred them to be, but that's not a big deal. I'm not going to go back and reprint, recut, and repaste everything on the wall because that would just be ridiculous, but I'm actually kind of proud of the outcome and we did it we did it we did it we did it i gotta clean up just a little bit and then i'm actually going to leave because the sun is starting to go away and that's when you know that i've been here way too long that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed classroom setup day four. It was a little bit messy in the beginning, but we finally got to where we wanted to be. The outcome, eh, I'd say I'd give it like a seven out of 10. It's not the greatest thing I've ever done. I still think that bulletin board is 10 times better than whatever this is, because this is literally just the days of the week with words for how to say different climates and different seasons and things like that. So I can't complain that much. I am happy that I was able to get it done. And that's just one more part of my classroom that is finally done. And I am so happy to have it done. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this one. I'm going to be doing classroom setups for the next few weeks throughout the summer. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything.